Today we are going to look at the calc sums. It calculates the total of a column in the table. You specify which fields to calculate by using parameters and it works on the integer, big integer, decimal, duration and the syntax is the record like for instance 30 days of L dot calc sums and then you put in your parameters like the ones that are relevant so ones one could be the number which is an integer and others like the value which is a decimal data type so i have created a random uh, loop here a loop that generates random several random numbers and the random numbers will be inserted into this 30 days of L table that we have been using all along and there is a new field known as the value so the value will have a random number for 100 records so after that we run the page to open those random values uh, later on we now filter remember the calc sums will set a sum on the particular filter filter that you have so we could have uh, more than one field specified like the number and the no here the value and the, the the value and the number so this is an integer and this is a decimal so uh okay the count is this the sum is this and uh, total numbers is that Percent three, and uh, we just add the total numbers. We say thirty days of L. Okay, something could be wrong here. So thirty days of L dot number. So when you look at this uh, calc sums, it updates the value here. It update. It will update this particular value and this and this. So it makes use of the sum index field technology. What is the sum index field technology? So it's a technology um, that lets you quickly calculate the sum of numeric data types. For example, the decimal integer, big integer, and duration columns in tables. Even in tables with thousands of records. So it helps the speed to be faster because it optimizes the performance of flow fields and query results in business central okay so sift involves performing a series of database calls and calculations before arriving at a result so this is an optimization that comes for us by default and remember whenever i hear about uh, speed anything that will help me get the speed i'll definitely jump into it calcsums for you is here if you want to add and it helps in the performance of your application of your code whenever you need when you when your application is uh, very big we usually okay let me publish the application so that we can be able to track the kind of query that the calc sums generate so as i was saying we usually um uh, sometimes blame the resources or the uh let's say the application being slow because of maybe the ram or the system uh, resources that have been provided to us by the clients but at times uh, if they're not SaaS fashion especially on-prem clients uh, but at times you find that it's our code that is the problem we are not using the best practices in our code and the code has a big impact in how your application runs so if our code opti is optimized to a level that we use the best um, the best uh, methods for the relevant function that we want to perform it means that even um the let me say the optimizer or the query optimization will just be like a plus to us uh the query optimization by clients or not really the query optimization the the resources that the client will provide for us will just be a plus to us it won't be a dependency so let me generate the day nine method first okay just picking a lot here and move so we have set our filter now we only want the sum for this particular range okay you have generated random values but do you have random values 
between 5,000 and 10,000. If you have, then give me the sum of those random values. So let's go to our, 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 our DB. Okay, last executed statement will be under SQL 9. So the last executed statement is getting everything because we haven't run the calc sums. But when we run the calc sums, we'll find that our last executed statement will change to the, okay. So we are having, look at the query, select sum of the value and sum of the number from these uh, kronas, blah, 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 uh, with, uh, okay, update lock, there's an update lock. And then the filter is the value is greater than now there's a placeholder and it's less than this because of this range that we have set. So it's good to visualize what you're doing with your code so that you can be able to know what are you uh, generating in your code. If it was a loop, imagine looping into all uh, the values, the possible values and adding it one by one for all the two values. But with one query that now gives us uh, one sum, we, we, by using one query, we are able to get the real sum of um, the range that we want. That's the, the beauty of using the calc sums. I will step over and we expect, now the value here should be having something. So we expect that we have replaced the total sum. Uh, it should be in the globe locals. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. So the value, the value, the value, yes. Remember, there's no value that is greater than 10,000, but now the value here is holding the sum. This is what the calc sums does. So remember, after using the calc sums in your AL code, don't reuse this value expecting that you have the next value. Once you have done the calc sums, this should be the end of using this record. Unless you like, if you like to uh, use it again, you just need to do a fresh reset and, or yeah, you need to reset the fields because the, it has not created any other value that is unique. It has used the last record or this particular record. You see the count is uh, this 43, this number is 43. Okay, this is also <laughs> having a summation. Okay. So the number is having, having a summation. You can see we have generated a total of, is this 12 fields? Yeah, probably 12 fields, but we'll be able to see that. Um, I doubt that value. Mm, 30 days fields count 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, it is telling me the number of fields in this table. The fields. This table has 12 fields, but uh, when we go to globals, let me see. We don't have a count. Okay. We, are, we, we have already seen the query that is very well optimized. Uh -huh. So the number here has replaced, has been replaced by the, okay. This sum has replaced uh, this, this current uh, number with the sum. So, a little bit of care while using these calc sums. Use it uh, with care because it will replace the last value that you are selecting with the particular sum of now that particular range that you are looking at. So be careful, but this is a very good function for us. Let's just continue and be able to see what it has for us in show. And it's okay, I knew. The, the count there was for the number of fields. We have 12 fields in this table. That's why I was wondering. So the count is 78 and the sum is 6, 8, 4 to 18. Total is, total is for now, uh, the summation for this is 43, 5, 89. You see, so this is a very good function that can be used. It can really help us be able to get the summation easily and by using the best query for that purpose so that's it for this video make sure that you optimize your code i will see you in day 10 of 30 days of al see you there if you enjoyed this video 
make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.